Today's video topic is the locked-in syndrome. Locked-in syndrome is a rare condition that affects the ability of an individual to communicate and move their body. Despite being physically paralyzed, the affected person remains conscious and aware of their surroundings. They may be able to communicate using eye movements, blinking, or other small movements. Causes of locked-in syndrome. Locked-in syndrome is caused by damage to the ventral pons region of the brainstem, which controls the muscles responsible for movement and speech. The most common causes of this damage include 1. Stroke. Stroke can cause damage to the blood vessels in the brainstem, leading to locked-in syndrome. The damage can be caused by a blood clot that blocks blood flow to the brain or by bleeding in the brain. Number 2. Traumatic brain injury. Traumatic brain injuries such as those sustained in a car accident or fall can cause damage to the brainstem and result in locked-in syndrome. Number three, degenerative diseases. Certain degenerative diseases such as ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or multiple system atrophy can cause progressive damage to the brainstem, leading to locked-in syndrome. Number four, drug overdose. Overdose of certain drugs, such as barbiturates, can lead to respiratory failure and brainstem damage, causing locked-in syndrome. Symptoms of locked-in syndrome. The symptoms of locked-in syndrome can vary from person to person, but typically include 1. Paralysis. Individuals with locked-in syndrome are unable to move their limbs or body, but are able to move their eyes and possibly their head. 2. Loss of speech. Individuals with locked-in syndrome are unable to speak or make any vocal sounds, but are able to understand spoken language. 3. Retention of cognitive function. Despite being physically paralyzed, individuals with locked-in syndrome are able to retain their cognitive function and are aware of their surroundings. 4. Retention of eye movement. Individuals with locked-in syndrome are able to communicate through eye movements, such as blinking, or gazing in a certain direction. Diagnosis of locked-in syndrome. The diagnosis of locked-in syndrome is made through a combination of physical and neurological examinations, brain imaging tests, and electrophysiological tests. The physical and neurological exams help to determine the extent of the physical paralysis and assess cognitive function. Brain imaging tests such as MRI and CT scans help to identify any damage to the brainstem. Electrophysiological tests, such as EEGs, are used to measure brain activity and assess the function of the brainstem. Treatment of locked-in syndrome. There is no cure for locked-in syndrome, but various treatment options are available to improve the quality of life for individuals with this condition and to manage any underlying causes. 1. Physical and speech therapy. Physical therapy can help individuals with locked-in syndrome maintain muscle strength, and prevent further deterioration. Speech therapy can help improve communication abilities and increase the individual's ability to express their needs. Two, medications for underlying causes. If locked-in syndrome is caused by an underlying condition such as a stroke or degenerative disease, medications may be prescribed to manage the symptoms and slow the progression of the condition. Three, assistive technology. Assistive technology, such as communication devices that allow individuals with locked-in syndrome to communicate through eye movements, can greatly improve quality of life. 4. Emotional and psychological support. Living with locked-in syndrome can be emotionally and psychologically challenging. It is important for individuals with this condition to receive support from family, friends, and mental health professionals. In conclusion, locked-in syndrome is a rare and debilitating condition that affects the ability of individuals to communicate and move their body. Despite the physical paralysis, affected individuals remain conscious and aware of their surroundings. With proper care and support, individuals with this condition can lead fulfilling lives and maintain their independence. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.